There has been a suggestion that Luis Heel could be the answer to the Yankees' bullpen concerns. Maybe plug him in down there and get important outs down the stretch. I've certainly thought it. So have the Yankees. But when Heel goes out and throws six scoreless innings of one-hit ball, as he did today here at Wrigley Field, makes it kind of hard to take him out of the rotation, doesn't it? Heel making his pitch quite literally to stay in the rotation as the Yanks Shut out the Cubs here at Wrigley Field. 3-0 the final score. Yanks 12th shutout win of the year. And it happened as Heel continued to improve as this start went along. The velocity was a little down early, but he made up for it with a biting slider. Also mixed in his changeup. And by the sixth inning, Aaron Boone said that might have been his strongest inning of all. So the Vila was down 1.8 miles per hour. But again, it's not how hard you throw it. It's not a velocity competition. The Cubs could not answer it on a day where Tough hitting conditions here at Wrigley. The wind was uh, blowing in from Lake Michigan. One thing Anthony Rizzo said in his pregame was the first thing you do as a visiting player or as a home player here at Wrigley Field, go look at Lake Michigan. I saw it out there. It was pretty choppy out on Lakeshore Drive, and you can tell conditions were not going to be great for offense. Yanks offense comprised of an Aaron Judge run-scoring double and Austin Wells with a two-run single. That was all Heel was going to get. And maybe if we're not talking about Heel going to the bullpen down the stretch, maybe we got a sneak preview of how Aaron Boone plans to navigate it during this issue here or this period where Clay Holmes has lost his dedicated duties as a closer. Now, of course, Holmes remains in the late inning mix, but they bypassed him here today. Jake Cousins got the seventh inning. Tommy Canely got the eighth and then the ninth went to Luke Weaver, his first career save opportunity. Weaver said that he blacked out a little bit, was going on adrenaline. You saw the velocity jumped up, and he struck out the first two batters on eight pitches, as Rizzo said, clearly relishing the opportunity. Then he lost Cody Bellinger to a six-pitch walk, and then an 11-pitch battle with Isak Paredes followed there. He got Paredes to hit a ground ball at second base, recorded his first career save. So a uh, big outing there for Weaver, who said that since he's moved to the bullpen, closing is something that he has aspired to. And of course, you want to go out and get the most important outs of the game. So he enjoyed that opportunity. And uh, after that one in the books, Aaron Boone saying that, yeah, uh, <laughs> Weaver could get more opportunities down the stretch. They're going to mix and match, of course, and Holmes not out of it yet. But uh, now that uh, you got one in the books, Time to go for number two. So that's the Hokey Pokey. That's what it's all about. Your final score here at Wrigley Field, which, by the way, is one of the coolest venues in all of baseball. What a treat to come here. And Yankees have not been here since 2019. And one of the perks of this new schedule is that they will come here again in two years. Final score here at Wrigley again, 3 nothing. Yankees win. Yanks back at it for more day baseball tomorrow. Clark Schmidt will be activated from the injured list. So will Ian Hamilton. Yankees option Ron Marinaccio after the game with one more move to come tomorrow.